During my early years, I have been very confused about my own identity. I felt like a complete woman, yet my body was different. And as a teenager, I have gone through severe struggles and that were really tearing my heart apart. I would say that uh, the first incidents that I really saw was uh, rape of my best friend. I couldn't tell my parents what happened because they don't approve my friendship with trans people. So the next morning I, I told her let's go to the police and complain and she said no we are not going to the police because the police will ask me you're a sex worker why did you go at night outside. This happens to all the transgender people every day. In one way or the other we are physically, psychologically, socially, economically abused. That one instance has changed my perception towards my future. I realized that I was tired of living in fear and I wanted to live my life on my own terms, come what may. Art is not only about me or my community. It's about the beauty of nature, it's about the beauty of animals and the beauty of human beings. It also contains a lot of visually experimental work. And through my art, I try to help others, uh, my transgender community, as well as people who really deserve to be helped. Art is a way for me to express my emotions, my joy, my pain, my anguish, everything, everything. I started Sahodari to create a safe space for transgenders to support them so that they can live with dignity. Dignity because people think we don't deserve it. We deserve it. We use art as a medium not only for expression but also for earning a livelihood. Today, Sahodri as an organization focuses on legal rights, education and artistic expression. Many transgender people are now earning their livelihood through this. Sahodri Foundation in Giravuru. I am here in Ovia pine galayella katchu kodu thargal anga kalki vandu enak sandoshama ovia pine galayella katchu kodu thargal adu mattum illamal pana sambadikira alavu thiramai galayella enni valathargal even today people look down upon me laugh at me or say hurtful things against me i know that the best response that i can give is through the work that i do i will fight till the day when a transgender person can walk down the streets without whispers, without shame, as long as I live.